The King's Royal Rifle Corps was an infantry rifle regiment of the British Army, originally raised in North America as the Royal Americans, and recruited from North American colonists. Later ranked as the 60th Regiment of Foot, the regiment served for more than 200 years throughout the British Empire. In 1966 the regiment amalgamated with the Oxfordshire and Buckinghamshire Light Infantry and the Rifle Brigade to become the 2nd Battalion, Royal Green Jackets, a new large regiment. In 2007 the Royal Green Jackets was merged with the Devonshire and Dorset Regiment, the Royal Gloucestershire, Berkshire and Wiltshire Regiment and the Light Infantry to form the Rifles where the lineage of the King's Royal Rifle Corps continues on as the 2nd Battalion, the Rifles. History The King's Royal Rifle Corps was raised in the American colonies in 1756 as the 62nd Regiment to defend the 13 colonies against attack by the French and their Native American allies. After Braddock's defeat in 1755, royal approval for a new regiment, as well as funds were granted by Parliament just before Christmas 1755, hence the regiment's traditional birthday of Christmas Day. However parliamentary delays meant it was the 4th of March 1756 before a special act of Parliament created four battalions of 1,000 men each to include foreigners for service in the Americas. A regimental history compiled in 1879 by a captain in the King's Royal Rifle Corps states that in November 1755 Parliament voted the sum of £81,000 for the purpose of raising a regiment of four battalions, each 1,000 strong for service in British North America. Parliament approved an act to enable His Majesty to grant commissions to a certain number of foreign Protestants who have served abroad as officers or engineers, to act and rank as officers or engineers in America only. Under certain restrictions and regulations, the Earl of Loudoun, who was Commander-in-Chief of the Forces in North America, was appointed Colonel-in-Chief of the Regiment. About 50 officers' commissions were given to Germans and Swiss, and none were allowed to rise above the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. According to a modern history of the regiment, the idea for creating this unique force was proposed by Jacques Prévost. A Swiss soldier and adventurer who was a friend of the Duke of Cumberland, Prévost recognized the need for soldiers who understood forest warfare. Unlike the regulars who were brought to America in 1755 by General Braddock, the regiment was intended to combine the characteristics of a colonial corps with those of a foreign legion. Swiss and German forest fighting experts, American colonists and British volunteers from other British regiments were recruited. These men were Protestants, an important consideration for fighting against the predominantly Catholic French. The officers were also recruited from Europe, not from the American colonies, and consisted of English, Scots, Irish, Dutch, Swiss and Germans. It was the first time foreign officers were commissioned as British Army officers. The total regiment consisted of 101 officers, 240 non-commissioned officers and 4,160 enlisted men. The battalions were raised on Governor's Island, New York. The regiment was renumbered the 60th Regiment in February 1757 when the 50th and 51st Foot Regiments were removed from the British Army roll after their surrender at Fort Oswego. Among the distinguished foreign officers given commissions in the 60th was Henry Bouquet, a Swiss citizen, whose ideas on tactics, training and man management would become universal in the British Army some 150 years later. Bouquet was commanding officer of the 1st Battalion and with his fellow battalion commanders, set about creating units that were better suited to warfare in the forests and lakes of Northeast America. The Royal Americans represented an attempt to produce a more able soldier who was encouraged to use his initiative while retaining the discipline that was noticeably lacking in the irregular units of colonial rangers that were being raised at the same time. The new regiment fought at Louisburg in 1758. 
the Cape Sable campaign in Quebec in 1759 in the campaign which finally wrested Canada from France. At Quebec it won from General James Wolfe the motto seller et audax. These were conventional battles on the European model, but fighting during Ponchik's rebellion in 1763 was of a very different character. The frontier war threatened the British control of North America. The new regiment at first lost several outlying garrisons but finally proved its mastery of forest warfare under Bouquet's leadership at the victory at Bushy Run. The 60th were uniformed and equipped in a similar manner to other British regiments with red coats and cocked hats or grenadier caps. But on campaign, swords were replaced with hackets, and coats and hats cut down for ease of movement in the woods. Napoleonic Wars During the Napoleonic Wars the regiment saw action in the Peninsula War. The first four battalions had been raised as regular line battalions, but in 1797 a fifth battalion had been raised at Cowes on the Isle of Wight and equipped entirely with the Baker rifle, and wore green jackets with red facings. The mixing of rifle, troops and muskets proved so effective that eventually line battalion light companies were replaced with rifle companies. The line battalions found themselves in several different theatres, including the West Indies. The rifle battalion was soon joined by a second, and these found themselves in the peninsula with Wellington's army serving along with the 95th Rifles and the King's German Legion rifle units. A 7th Battalion was eventually raised as a rifle battalion specifically for service in the American War of 1812. After the Napoleonic Wars the regiment received a new title. First, in 1815, its name was changed to the Duke of York's Own Rifle Corps and then, in 1830, to the King's Royal Rifle Corps. In 1858 the Rifle Depot at Winchester was made their headquarters. The regiment served in the 1882 Anglo-Egyptian War. During the rest of the 1800s the unit also was active in China, Canada, Afghanistan, India, Burma and South Africa. The regiment was deployed during the Second Boer War from the outset playing a key role in the first battle at Talana Hill. Two officers from the regiment were awarded the Victoria Cross, Lieutenant Frederick Hugh Sherston Roberts and Lieutenant Llewellyn Alberic Emilius Price Davies. Private Frederick Corbett also received the Victoria Cross for his action at KAFR Dower, Egypt. On 5 August 1882, his VC was later rescinded when he was convicted of embezzlement, theft, and being absent without leave. First World War In the First World War the KRRC was expanded to 28 battalions and saw much action on the Western Front. Macedonia and Italy with 60 battle honours awarded. 12,840 men of the regiment were killed while seven members received the Victoria Cross and over 2,000 further decorations were awarded. After 1918 the unit returned to garrison duties in India, Palestine and Ireland. In 1922 the regiment was reduced from four to two battalions with the third and fourth being disbanded. In 1926 the regiment was reorganized as one of the first mechanized infantry regiments. Second World War In the Second World War after initial deployment to France as part of the BEF, the regiment lost two battalions at the defence of Calais, where a Green Jacket Brigade held up the German advance and enabled the Dunkirk evacuation. In the Mediterranean theatre, the KRRC saw action in the Greek campaign, including the Battle of Vevey and Battle of Crete, where 9th Battalion, the Rangers, served with 1st Armoured Brigade Group. It later served in Italy and Austria. Following the D-Day landings, the 1st Battalion served in the 4th Armoured Brigade at the Battle of Arnhem. Rifleman John Beely was awarded a posthumous Victoria Cross for his actions during Operation Crusader. The regiment was awarded 41 battle honours for service in World War II. Following the war's end the unit was deployed in Germany. Royal Green Jackets In 1948, 
For administrative purposes the KRC was brigaded with the Ox and Bucks Light Infantry and the Rifle Brigade to form the Green Jackets Brigade. In 1958 the regiment was retitled the 2nd Green Jackets, the King's Royal Rifle Corps, as were the two other regiments of the Green Jackets Brigade, retitled 1st and 3rd Green Jackets respectively. In 1966 the three regiments were amalgamated to form the three battalions of the Royal Green Jackets Regiment. In 1992 the 1st Battalion, Royal Green Jackets was disbanded, and the KRRC were renumbered the 1st Battalion, with the 3rd Battalion becoming the 2nd Battalion. In 2007, the 2 Battalion RGJ Regiment was amalgamated with the remaining Light Infantry Regiments to form the five regular and two territorial battalions of the Rifles. The regiment's traditions are preserved by the 2nd Battalion, the Rifles, which is a redesignation of the 1st Battalion, Royal Green Jackets, Territorial Battalions, Queen Victoria's Rifles, the Rangers, the Queen's Westminsters. In World War II these territorial battalions were made formally part of the KRRC as follows. 1st Battalion Queen Victoria's Rifles 7th Battalion KRRC 2nd Battalion Queen Victoria's Rifles 8th Battalion KRRC 1st Battalion The Rangers 9th Battalion KRRC 2nd Battalion The Rangers 10th Battalion KRRC 1st Battalion The Queen's Westminster's 11th Battalion KRRC 2nd Battalion The Queen's Westminster's 12th Battalion KRRC Cadet Battalions 1st Cadet Battalion The King's Royal Rifle Corps Queen Victoria's Rifles Cadet Corps over the years the formation of the cadet battalions was changed regularly, due to the changes to do with rules and commanding officer. The 1st Cadet Battalion owes its foundation to the Reverend Freeman Wills, who was commissioned into the Volunteer Army in the rank of Captain on 26 July 1890. He was also vicar of St. Agatha's just behind Sun Street, Finsbury Square. On receiving his commission he decided to form a cadet company within the 1st Cadet Battalion, the Royal West Surrey Regiment. The company quickly expanded to become the 2nd Cadet Battalion, the Royal West Surrey Regiment, at which point he moved the battalion headquarters to No. 2 Finsbury Square. In 1894 he applied to HRH Prince George, Duke of Cambridge, Colonel-in-Chief, to affiliate to the regiment, with the title of 1st Cadet Battalion, the King's Royal Rifle Corps. Consent was granted on 8 November 1894 and the battalion has remained a part of the regiment ever since. In the days of its foundation cadet battalions were privately organized and funded. On becoming a part of the King's Royal Rifle Corps subscriptions began to flow in and after the commanding officer had spent nearly £1,000. The battalion was placed on a financial basis, which many volunteer corps would have envied. There were to be many ups and downs in later years, especially when recognition of the cadet force was withdrawn between the two world wars. But fortunately the enthusiasm and commitment of those involved consistently triumphed over the parsimony of governments. In 1900, when volunteers were urgently needed for the South African War, the commanding officer, Colonel Freeman Croft Wills persuaded the War Office to accept a company of the older cadets, principally NCOs, the company being enrolled in the City Imperial Volunteers. Around 100 cadets thus served in South Africa with this unit, whilst other cadets and ex-cadets served in the RAMC, and other units. Four were killed in action, one serving with the 1st KRRC at the Battle of Dundee, and the others with units of the CIVs. Their comrades erected brass plaques in their memory in the drill hall at Sun Street. These are now displayed in the Cadet Company office here at Davies Street. In recognition of this service, King Edward VII granted the battalion the honor of wearing on its accoutrements the battle honor, South Africa 1900-1902. 
The announcement of this privilege was made to the battalion by His Late Majesty, King George V then Prince of Wales, when, accompanied by Her Majesty Queen Mary, he distributed the prizes at the Guild Hall in the City of London. The 1st Cadet Battalion KRRC are the only cadet unit in the United Kingdom to have been granted such an honour and are permitted to wear the miniature 60th cap badge with the single battle honour, and call their cadets riflemen. The 2nd Cadet Battalion the King's Royal Rifle Corps was formed in 1942 when a Home Guard instruction was issued ordering each Home Guard battalion to raise a cadet unit. Lieutenant Colonel R. L. Clark of Queen Victoria's Rifles was given the task and on 15 May the Queen Victoria's Rifles Cadet Corps was born. Over the next three years the unit expanded to five companies, which in April 1945 led to it being retitled the 2nd Cadet Battalion, the King's Royal Rifle Corps. In 1951 the 1st and 2nd Cadet Battalion were amalgamated. This resulted in the disposal of the headquarters of the 1st Cadet Battalion at 42 Sun Street. In 1954 the battalion office of the new 1st Cadet Battalion was established at 56 Davies Street, where it remains to this day. Today the KRRC 1st Cadet Battalion still exists, with the following units making up the battalion. A company, 231 KRRC Rifles ACF, B Company, 232 KRRC Rifles ACF, C Company, 233 KRRC Rifles ACF, D Company, 234 KRRC RGJ ACF, until recently when they formed the London Oratory School RGJ ACF unit. Although they were rebadged as Irish Guards in 2010, Alliances, Canada, the Queen's Own Rifles of Canada, Titles, 1755 The 62nd Foot, 1757 Renumbered the 60th Foot, 1824 The 60th Duke of York's Own Rifle Corps, 1830 The 60th The King's Royal Rifle Corps, 1881 The King's Royal Rifle Corps, 1958 Redesignated Second Green Jackets. 1966 Succeeded by 2nd Battalion, the Royal Green Jackets. 1968 Renamed 2nd Battalion, the Royal Green Jackets. 1992 Renamed 1st Battalion, the Royal Green Jackets. 2007 Succeeded by 2nd Battalion, the Rifles. Publications Wallace, L.T., Jen, Sir Christopher, The King's Royal Rifle Corps, The 60th Rifles, A Brief History, 1755-1965, Royal Green Jackets Museum Trust, Winchester, 2005, ISBN 0-9549-3700-7 Rifles Museum, Deeds, W.F. and Wake, Sir Hereward, Swift and Bold. The Story of the King's Royal Rifle Corps in the Second World War 1939-1945 Gail and Polden, Aldershot, 1949 Collett, Captain, R.L. The History of First Cadet Battalion, the King's Royal Rifle Corps, Centenary 1894-1994 Fairley Wood, Herbert, Famous Regiments the King's Royal Rifle Corps, Various, The Annals of the King's Royal Rifle Corps, 1755-1965, to Cellar Audax Club, Gale and Polden, 1913-1979, to Daniel Marston, Swift and Bold, The 60th Regiment and Warfare in North America, 1755-1765, to Nesbitt Wallace, A Regimental Chronicle and List of Officers, the 60th, or the King's Royal Rifle Corps formerly the 62nd, or the Royal American Regiment of Foot.